<laughs> Lainey just sent over their brand spanking new battery edition wireless 4x6 printer. <laughs> but also I wanna address some of the questions you guys had in the last video I did on this printer, which was comparing it to Kodak and the HP printer of its class. Let's get right into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. So yeah, obviously um, this video is sponsored. Lainey sent this over for me to uh, show you guys. This isn't gonna be like a review of this really because it's basically the exact same printer as the other one, except it has a battery now. You don't have to have it plugged into a wall. It's portable. We'll get into that in just a few minutes. Let's get this out of the box. Let's take a look. Paper. Cartridge. All right, here they are. So these questions come from a video I did not too long ago where I compared the Laney M100 versus the Kodak Doc 4x6 printer and then versus the HP Sprocket 4x6 printer. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna go and check it out. But spoiler alert, after comparing all three of those printers, the Laney came out on top in nearly every single category. And they just sent me the brand new M200, which is essentially the same as the M100. It just has a battery built in. So you have the option to have it powered in the wall or you can take it with you on the go. And I got a super fun video idea that I'll be doing the full demonstration of this printer with uh, that's coming soon so consider subscribing this is more of an announcement that you can pick up a battery version and right now I just checked Amazon this thing's on sale the date of the recording of this video link is in the description so let's dive into some of these questions that you guys had the first question I kind of touched on it by breezed over it in that video but the question was what's the cost per print versus all the printers. And I think this is where there's a slight misconception, but we'll get into that in just one hot second. So the cost per print be between the Kodak, the Laney, and the HP are basically exactly the same. You can buy a 40 pack from Laney and it's $19.99 on Amazon. So you get 40 prints for 20 bucks. Same thing with the Kodak. The HP is slightly different because you can't buy a 40 pack. You can only buy an 80 pack from what I've seen on Amazon. And the 80 pack is 35 to 40 dollars. I've seen it kind of fluctuate. So it's exactly the same. And I, I briefly touched on it, but I didn't really go in depth and spell it out too clearly. <laughs> and I guess that's my my fault. I should have done so. So you're looking at about 50 cents per photo, which leads me to a kind of a sub question you guys had, was which, which was about the ink. How many pictures can you actually get on the ink cartridge? Well. It's not ink. This doesn't use any sort of ink. This is a dye sublimation process. I've done a video on the uh, Polaroid high print, the pocket printer. There's like a little tiny, like two by three photo. And I've, I've torn apart a cartridge to show you guys what that looks like. If you want to check it out, link is in the description. It does a four pass system where they it layers on with um, a film. I don't know how exactly how it works. It's magic and it's really cool. So in the box, you get 40 sheets of paper and a cartridge. The cartridge has enough for each piece of paper. So you get 40, it doesn't use ink. Which moves me to the next question. And this one, I, I as I was editing the video, I was, I was wondering if you guys were gonna get slightly confused because I forgot to mention this. And some of you guys were. And so I apologize for that. Uh, but what I did was is I wanted to see the print qualities on various pieces of paper from other brands with you know within the laney to see the differences in quality because the hp and the kodak there was no contest as far as print quality this thing kicked its butt all of them this thing's amazing but i wanted to see if it really was the paper so i threw in paper from i think the hp i put it inside this and printed it out and it worked beautifully this is where it caused some confusion uh in the sense that oh you can just pick up hp paper and, and put it in here yeah it's half true uh, but you still need the cartridge for the, the laney the cartridges are not 
interchangeable. They have their own unique system to insert and fit into their machines. So that's the only thing that isn't compatible, but the paper does work. So if you happen to have some paper laying around from other printers, you technically could swap them out. But however, if you do that, you do have to remember that you did that. You might run out of the cartridge film. So you might have more paper than this thing can actually print, if that makes sense, because it's not ink. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't confusing. Next question was how to connect to this thing. And I talked about it in there. Um, uh, you could connect this thing with uh, Wi-Fi as well as directly into your computer. But for that video, I was using my phone and I was using my uh, iPhone for the uh, demonstration and printing all these photos because it works seamlessly and it's beautiful. But some people were saying they can't use their Android. It's not out yet, it's not working, but I don't have an Android to test that with, but I asked Lainey and they told me there is an app for Android and it works just fine. Now here's the most common question I have had on all the videos. <laughs> I've done a full breakdown of this by itself as well as a comparison video. And in both of those videos, yeah, you guys want to know. The infamous Canon selfie, I think is what it's called, versus the Lainey. You guys want to see that comparison? How does it compare? All that jazz. Well, I haven't done it because I don't have that printer. You know, and making these videos is kind of expensive <laughs> and, and do these full breakdowns. You guys know how I do these things. I don't just make a video for video sake and do a quick overview. I dive deep into my videos and try to give you the guys the most thorough and the most unnecessarily detailed videos as possible. Sometimes I leave some stuff out and I address them just like now. I think that Kenny one's called like the CP1300 or something like that. That's kind of like the flagship uh, 4x6 printer on the market. And the pricing of that thing has been, like I've seen it as high as like 200, 200 plus, or as low as 150. It's kind of all over the place. Um, but I didn't compare it, or I didn't bring it up in the last video because of that price point. This is its, in its own thing. And I do want to put it against it and see how well it does. So if you guys want to see that, consider subscribing. Just want to make that happen. But I do want to address some of those questions the best that I can right now. And I believe Lenny has even put this version of the printer out to be a contender of the Canon's version because it has the battery now. It's all inclusive. It's all compact. I mean, mostly it's pretty thin. This thing again, is so cool. I love this design. This is the paper tray and it's held together by magnets and travel with this thing. It's sleek. And if you don't want to use the battery, you can just plug it right into the wall and it will be um, work as this one did as well as charge the battery at the same time. Now from the research that I've done on the Canon uh, printer, it uh, has a battery option as well, uh, but it's not internal. You have to buy a separate battery that does not come with it and you connect it to it and then you can use it uh, wirelessly um, anywhere you want make it portable i have seen it in person i think one set like best buy it's pretty bulky and and kind of unique to itself you know this thing is a little bit more sleek a little bit better design personally i think and also worth noting when people say oh they bring up battery life one thing i always forget like when i was a kid when i had like rc cars i was so excited to like bust those out and start you know playing with it but you had to charge the battery it could be like three hours to charge a battery and then you get like 15 minutes of fun if you were lucky I hated that growing up. So I like to address that stuff. And so I did a little deep dive in to try and find some details on the Canon battery. It takes like a couple of hours for that thing to fully charge. And so I asked Lainey like, what, how long does it take this thing to charge? It's about an hour, 15, hour and a half, which is, I mean, it's better than the Canon, but this is still a while. However, you can still use it in between the uh, charging methods and whatnot. And I asked them how long does this thing actually last on the battery? And they told me it'll run for 80 minutes. Now, I don't know if that means it's just being powered on and left alone, or is that continuously printing photos during that 80 minutes? We'll find out in a future video when I do the actual comparison of this versus the Canon. That's coming soon. The next video I want to do on this guy before I do the Canon video uh, comparison, because I know that's a the Canon video is highly, highly requested across multiple, multiple, multiple videos of mine that I've done on similar printers. And that one has been at the top. Don't worry, I hear you, it's coming. I want to start doing videos showing you fun use cases for this stuff, not just reviewing the product. I want to show you what you can actually do with it. And I've already been doing some fun stuff with this thing. And if you want to get some of the photos I've been printing on this thing, I've been throwing those in as extra bonuses for my monthly print club members over on Patreon. So if you want to join that and get some fun photos, I sign them. I sometimes draw on them, make funny things with it. I have a good time with it. In addition to the actual monthly photo. So if you want to join that, consider joining the monthly print club. 
Link is in the description. And I just launched a P.O. box too. <laughs> There's a lot of fun stuff down in the description below. Lamy has done a great job at innovating this style of printers. This is an instant printer. A lot of times they're just junky and cheap feeling. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.